Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria at War. Yeah, that's the mod we're playing, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, as the Griffonian Empire, that big old empire. So right now, this isn't where we left off, mostly because, well, OBS crashed when I was recording, like, five minutes in, and then it crashed. So right now, we're doing Reintegrate Central Griffonia, which is like all the other ones, all the other focuses where we can reintegrate places. If we have enough compliance, it'll auto-core. We lose some political power, but that's okay. Right now, let's go ahead and get some research slots, and, or use our research, or use a research slot, I don't know. Let's use that, cool. So, last time, we took out the Kingdom of Winged Body, and we had a great time taking them out, even though... Oh, we're still the kingdom. That's actually really cool. What is this? Asterion. Asterion. Cool. Oh, we, I, we bypassed that? Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Oh, it gets more rubber, that's awesome. But, yeah, we took out Winged Bardi. Uh, some comments were that my tanks were running out of organization and strength just because of the light tanks in them. The organization of my tanks isn't very good. I just finished, before I started re-recording this, uh, another tech in the race tree or something like that. But we'll get to that in just a little bit. So, reclaim the frontier. In 747, Emperor Grover I famously crossed the Creeper Mountains, catching the eastern principalities by surprise and subjugating them with ease. Two years later, the Zafans, Zafans of Grafia wisely agreed to become an imperial march, but like all other subjects, they too betrayed us and declared independence or simply drifted away from imperial rule. It's time we reassert our dominance. So, for example, let's see, yes, I just completed... Oh, this one. No, this one. Armory Claws. We gave you some more, more organization, which is great. <clears throat> right now I'm training a lot of my armies up because I want to make sure that they're all pretty good. We got some more passive defense. Even more passive defense. And take a quick, quick look at my tanks. They are, well, they have almost 32 organization, which isn't super high. They're okay, but we do need to get rid of these last two light tank battalions in them. And I do want to make more light tanks. I forgot that yesterday. We want to make light tanks because we are using armored recon companies. So that's actually pretty good. Very nice. Cool. Advanced competing machine. Very good, very good. We're going to grab the next one as well, just for even more research speed. So I guess... The goal for us now is to finish this focus and go to war with these guys. Ah, finally we got some better bombers. Finally. I'm going to grab some better fighters first just because we already have a bonus towards it. Um, We're going to use these, not use these too soon. You know what? We're going to get the next bombers, the next fighters, and upgrade those guys. I think that'll be good. Uh, also, I did raise my conscription level. We are on service by requirement at 10% recruitable population because earlier we had like 40 to 50,000 guys. Really not much at all. So, it is what it is. Ansit Anacitus. Cool. So, another comment from yesterday was that I should take out the Dread League. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I totally will sometime. I have no idea what they're like. But it should be a lot of fun if we can take them out. It should be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, there was one more play. Oh, yeah. The, the other comment was for me to play as Equestria someday, which I will. and But go down in a fascist route. Now, I don't know about Princess Celestia. They're pretty harmonious. So, I don't know. No idea. Maybe I'll play as fascist Equestria someday. Maybe not. I, I really don't know. Really have no idea right now. And that's okay. Cool. We do want integration. We got a couple of free, more dockyards. Let's grab another one of these guys. And these guys as well. And put them all in the Hail Forest. Let's let the time go on so we can get these focuses done a little faster. Thank you, thank you. Fir Tree Villages has capit- Oh my goodness, these guys are strong. I really don't know what they were doing. Like, are they using gas attack? Or something? Like, are you using- Are you gassing your enemies? Like in Victoria 2, and they have no gas defense? So, anyways. Uh, how far- Reclaim our colony. Ooh. Shackle the South. Yes. Expand wing body and rubber plantations. The tropical climate of southern wing body is ideal for rubber trees, and the local griffins were very well aware of this. However, there remains a great potential for expansion, which remain unex unexploited. With generous imperial funds, local plantations can be massively expanded. And I do want to let you know, I do have a cup of Griponian coffee here with me right now. Good stuff, my friend. Oh, King Elias I, White Crest, swears fealty. King of Lushi has sent us an official letter. In the long-winded explanation, King Elias I of Wolkres explains that he has actually always seen the Griffonian Empire as rightful hegemon over the continent. Therefore, this letter should be seen merely as a confirmation of his vassalage to us. He offers his people and his lands to us. What should we shall reply? Becomes a subject. Lushi. 
Well, do we have good relations with- Oh, we do not have good relations. You are a filthy liar, you piece of cap- You piece of crud. Your end is near, cowards. Now, you do not want to stay with us, and you shall reap the benefits of that doubt. Cool, I'm actually going to put you guys over here. Uh, where should I put you guys? I don't know. I guess Team Revolution is fine. And then you guys could train. Even though we really don't need the XP for it. Better get these guys high enough level. Cool. Let's go ahead and kill these guys off. Oh, look at these. Are these communists? Filthy comrade General Philip Redglad. Disgusting. Cool, and I want the tanks to go here. Take them off. Come up there. Go up there. You should be able to win. Should is a good word. Oh, look at that. They're so fast. I love it. And communists have nothing against the pride of the Griffin Griffonian Empire. Nothing. Give me one of you guys. Just go take white flower. Take their flower away from them? Oh, that sounds really flippin' weird. Holy cow, why did I say that? Good. This is what they deserve, these communists. Oh, yes, overrun them with our tanks. If we had helicopters, we might even throw them out of the helicopters, too. Look at that. Oh, yes. Nice. We've lost 1,000 versus 125,000. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. But we can do more. We could do more. We're gonna kill off the rest of this front line and basically then do a full something. Like cool. Uh, that's the case. You guys just do that without you guys. Get down there. You just get down there. I mean, at this point, you guys can just probably break through pretty easily. Anti partisan stuff. Portable radio sound. Awesome. Look at that manpower. I love it. Assemble the Griffins. Good. And you all just, like, if you could, just go ahead here. Uh, if you really want to, you guys could also go ahead. I don't think I'd give you orders. Guys, they're just going to slowly kill off. Oh, there they go. Yeah. This is nice. This is very nice. Also, I did put in some infrastructure for here. Maybe it's for here, though. Ah, oh, the Griffonian Empire is strong. Very, very strong. Look at this. Just, mmm. Communists. Nope. Good. Uh, I'm going to let the infantry do that, probably. For now, though, I want you guys to come, let's see, right here. You do that. Cut off their entire front line, too. And improved infantry equipment, too. Great. Get some of this. That'll help out. That'll definitely help the infantry. Eric? Guerrilla fighter? You're a good general. Very good general. 2,000 losses versus a third of a million. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for more. Go to Kvesin. 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 Awesome. And they're dead. Prywen. Mm. Lushi. You said you swore fealty to us, but your actions told us another thing. Actually, can we go to war with these guys? Water towns. Oh, they're, are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting. Oh, they... That is adorable. Keeper, eat, Helen. That's absolutely adorable. Awesome. Very good. Thanks, you've done a great job. Let's take a good look at the medium tanks. I'm like, why am I paused? I have no idea. Why did I pause it? I have no idea. Whatever. Cool. Better. I just get more and more artillery, man. Hmm. This Griffonian coffee is delicious. Delicious. Uh, integrate them. Cool. Portable radios. No. Just want to double check every time. Because integration is better than civilian. Oversight? Good. Very nice. I love rubber plantations. And our guys are getting organized, and I love it. Actually, before we forget, do we need, we need more air bases around here? Holy cow. I'm building some radar, too. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful. You might as well go for that. Let's not even upgrade level 2s. Level 2s are going to be outdated soon enough. We definitely need some more aluminum, though. Holy cow. Alright, shippies. 
So, next up, Shackle the Self. The free self will be a thing of the past. The free self. Oh, you got, you got me really interested now. No more shall wing Barty and the former Alice be subject states. Instead, they will be reorganized into an imperial province. Modern technology makes communication and thus administration easy, even so far away from the capital. This should prevent the region from breaking off so easily again. Very good. Now we are poised to strike, and poised to strike very well. You have chose poorly, my harmonious friends. Oh yeah, we're going to smash the hell out of these guys. Your front line shall be dissolved in mere weeks. <clears throat> oh, I love it. Look how fast they're going. How fast are they going? Six kilometers? That's not bad. Nuclear reactors? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, right, look. 100% infrastructure? We're going to build like five or six nuclear reactors immediately? Oh, I'm saving these for Nova Grafonia. All right, everyone, just go, go ahead and go. Did I even give you orders to do this? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, though. 1,000 losses versus 10,000? Not not good enough yet. Not good enough. 16,000? 2,000? Mm, that's not good enough. Do I have medical com companies on these guys? That's a good question. That's a very good question. 51,000? Mm, mm. Lushi. Lushi. The kingdom of Lushi. Uh, had you stayed with us, you would have been greatly reborn. But that's okay. Just demolish them. Sad. This is why you do not make enemies of the Empire. Uh, who else can we go to war with? Hellquill, Griffiths, Zafizia. Now, I've heard this is like the Ukrainian version of an equestrian war. So, oh. Borad. Grefnitsky. That's cool. Brewing relations, huh? Well, I'm sorry to my Ukrainian followers. They have to go as well. This entire continent must belong to me. I'm sorry. But not really. I'm having too much fun with this. I really am. Oh! It's Kiev. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to break over the river, but then again, they only have a division. How many divisions do they have? Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? We're still going to do that. We're still going to do that. I don't want to just have a... Just a generic breakthrough attempt. And, like always, make sure we build up infrastructure here eventually. Where is the aluminum? <clears throat> I guess I could trade away for more aluminum. Because we... Uh, oh, I guess not. Okay. Alright, so we're suffering electrician here, so let's get through this quickly. And just everyone get up there. Cool. Should be able to do that. Should. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're fighting over a river, which is not a good thing. But, you know, whatever. Cool, go ahead, my friends. And we're trying to get the cipher... Oh, we need cipher stuff. But I'm doing cryptology, you know. It's taking a while. It's definitely taking a while for all these guys. Oh, maybe we can't beat them here. You know what? Help them out. Hmm. You know, it's only one. What if we just did that? Maybe I can't just smash them all at the same time, but that's okay. Can't always do that. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Increasing plating standards. While light tanks are very mobile, they're not particularly resilient and are easy to pierce. Larger and heavier tanks would be slower, but still faster than even winged infantry, and far tougher to destroy. These new tanks will be the iron claws which will shred our enemies to pieces. Absolutely. Uh, we don't need more war support. War bonds are nice. Oh, I don't have any of these. <coughs> Very good. This will be a little bit more tough than the other two nations, but that's okay. Sorry, guys. I had to go blow my nose. Um, let's keep doing that. I'm ignoring my land... Do my my naval doctrine currently though. Do we need upgrades for anything? No, yes. Oh, light tanks. Oh, we got plenty of light tanks for all that stuff. Good. Now we've lost. Oh, I guess we can't tell how many guys we love we have lost so far. That's okay. They probably won't be able to do very much about this. 
And it doesn't look like they're that many divisions of luck, which is a good thing. Even better, yeah. Just, I love it. Love it so much. Ah, uh, yes. Who's next? Gryphus. Or Griffiths. Is that Griffiths? Yes! Griffiths! Welcome! Welcome! Remlan? Very cool. Rem? Ram? Rem and Ram? Hmm, I don't watch anime. Huh. Very good. Yeah, definitely get make sure the infrastructure is nice and high there. But we're still coming up on the line, which is a good thing. Alright, oh, my bad. Very good, very good. Fighter 2s, how about Fighter 3s, but upgraded Fighter 3s. Sorry, I'm trying to blow my nose at the same time, guys. Cool. Obviously this. Now that's a little overboard. Now let's lower that. And lower this. I love the positivity. And you know what? We can probably get rid of this then. Nice. Probably do that too. Wow, we got a lot of planes. Hmm. Let's see. A lot of fighters. A ton of fighters. Definitely could use more bombers though. Let's see. You guys will come right there. Fighter ones. They're okay. These guys will need them. Cool. You guys are suffering from attrition, which is not a good thing, but whatever. You're trying to improve relations? What? No. Never. I doubt that's probably a bad idea. Or I think that's probably a bad idea. Something like that. And they should win pretty easily, you guys. You guys can probably just come in there, too. That's fine. Made a little mistake. Whatever. Whatever. So, and this is glitched though. Interesting. Not sure why it's glitched, but you know what? We're gonna roll with it. Alright, alright. How many medium tanks do we have? Oh, we're out of medium tanks. We need some more medium tanks. What? We got plenty of artillery for now, it's fine. Plenty of motorized too. You guys are definitely struggling. The supply is quite bad down here. Let's go another way, then. Increasing plating standards. Streamline tank production? I think so. Wow. Better production cost? Do we have a time limit on that? There's so much here. More reliability? No. Awesome. So, tanks are complex constructions requiring many parts that have been made by many producers. By consolidating the production of these parts into a single location, we can increase the speed of production. Adapting the assembly line and hiring more workers will help as well, allowing us to produce more than enough tanks for the Rex army. Invisible ink. Diplomatic training. Even though I'm not even using my guys, really. Ah, so we're stuck here. Interesting. Which means, well, time for the infantry to do what the tanks cannot. Let them do what they need to do, so. Let them struggle a little bit. The organization is quite bad. The supply is quite bad here, too, so. If we can still cut these guys off maybe a little bit, that'd be great. You know, there's not... Well, we just made an encirclement right there. That's not bad. It is what it is. 1.77 political power day, pretty good. I don't want to lose any war support, even though, eh, well, I mean, we already have enough civilian factories. We almost have 700 factories, so that's pretty good already. Good. We need to get better tanks, too. Definitely need to get better tanks. Um, yeah, we'll cut something off here. And the game is definitely a little laggy, but that's okay. Can you guys just make it down to the capital now? That might be really cool. Diplomatic training. Great. And we have almost our six things here. I love it. Throw some of this up too. That can help out. And when you're done... Uh, infrastructure. Uh, 
Oh, look, another tank. Good. Pretty good. Even though, well, we definitely need to put our tanks to rest for a while now. Because they're pretty injured. Oh, that's not good. So that everyone come down here or something. Right. Yeah, just go. Tief, Tief Brunin. Ah, there we go. That was a little more challenging for this group because they have probably have more forests, hills, and mountains. That's okay. So, next up is... Hellquill. Oh, I guess not. I guess not Hellquill. They were doing so well, and then we come back and they're dead. Alright, well, whatever. What is that? Project what? Metal Kasten? Oh, that's cool. But, what if we do... This. Building slots. Let's do this one first. So, the Empire's Far Eastern Port. Ria Port 2 has grown greatly in our absence, becoming a prosperous center of trade. Our admirals propose its port could be used as a base for the Imperial Navy, allowing us to better project power in the east. Archon Eros VII agrees with them, and workers have begun to expand the hub. Now, she was in a faction over here, so you guys in the River Coalition, that's going to be a big war against those guys. What about you guys? What are you guys up to? I kind of take these guys out first. Ah, Hell Quill has finally been defeated. Let's take these guys out first. Expansionism to the last militarization, interrogation technique, gearing up for war, nationalist rhetoric, fascist gatherings, the polar bear communities. Oh boy. Oh, oh wow. They're still fighting and they're not doing well? Oh good. Oh goodness gracious. And this is a case. Oh, we're fighting in mountains. How strong are you guys? Uh, that's not that bad. It looks like we're fighting in mountains, but that's not really good. I don't mind using knights, though, for this. They should be fairly decent at that. They have a little bit of armor, too. Yeah, they got more attack. It's not bad. Preparing for the Great Struggle. I like the little picture there. The Siege of Rocks. Interesting. Great. More logistic companies. Supply can be quite an issue for us sometimes. Fiat hospitals are very important. Imperial reservists. Huh. Cool. <clears throat> Get some of that and improve our guys if we can. Uh, are you guys... You guys are still moving up. Yeah, it's just... The game is definitely getting laggier now. Big knights. Hurts their armor just a wee bit, but whatever. They're important. Panzer divisions don't really need them. Better garrisons. I could probably turn you guys into uh, garrisons. I usually don't use garrisons just because I play a lot of Old World Blues and that costs money to do. <clears throat> That's cool. You know what? We'll train some of these guys. Cool. Tactical Bomber. Tactical Bomber 2s. Tech Bomber 3s. Look at... Oh my gosh, that's so much manpower. We're still mobilizing more. I love it. Supply is really bad down here. Where is this? Yeah. Definitely help them right there. That's okay. Help them right there. Cool. Yeah, supply is really bad. Suicide Pills. Cool. Well, <laughs> guess maybe not super cool, but you know, you get my drift. Oh, an airbase. Oh, yeah, we got it. Nice. We should have an airbase. Oh, we have an airbase right here. Cool. More bombers? Yes, please. East, the Empire's Far Eastern Port. <clears throat> Settle the Kosekin Lamb. Griffia is a sparsely populated land, the frontier, the eastern frontier, so to say. Its soil, however, is as fertile as in pride when the rice basket of the south. By encouraging colonization and resettling among the Imperial citizenry, and granting free land seized from the Cossacks, of course, we can integrate the region better than Grover III ever did and tame the wild coast second land. Yes, we shall tame them. Can we go to war with you guys yet? No. We have half our justification done. Half of it. Oh, we can demand frontier states. Lake City. Demands land. Uh. Oh, hell calls back. Oh. We'll do that when we're ready to go to war with the coalition. Cool, more divisions. As we're sort of just letting time go on for now. Uh, knights do me proud. 
and infantry do me proud as well. Great! Oh, you guys, you should probably do that too. Ah, uh, radio, I love it. Let's see. Industry. Do we need anything else? Extraction. Definitely, definitely extraction. My goodness, we're extracting so much, but it's nowhere near the amount that we really need. Beautiful. Alright, so, so we got some suicide pills, just in case, you know, for tastiness. And then, since we did upgrade our infantry, they could probably... Some of these guys could probably do that. Oh! Oh! Wait, Littenland, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is my plan all along. What is wrong with you? Oh, we're going to end up in a conflict with them so soon, I can already tell. It's going to be the battle of the... Well, I'm going to say battle of the giants, but... Let's be real, I'm like the, the guy who owns everything here for right now. Uh, let's do that since we have a bonus towards it Any, anyways. That's fine. Ah, oh, yes. This is beautiful. You know what we need? More nuclear stuff. Five more reactors. I want to produce nukes out the butt. Just so many nukes. How's this looking? So, in total, we have a... Get over there. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, I need to maybe emphasize a little bit more screens. A few more screens, probably. There you go. We can divide it up with each other. Hail Forest. Good. Uh, immediately go in since they're not doing well. We should do pretty well against them. Still can't see how much we're doing, or we can settle the Kosekin land, that's great. Integrate the frontier. The Empire's control over the east weakened greatly over the years until it crumbled entirely. We cannot allow this to ever happen again, but instead insert control and turn the frontier into an obedient and well-organized model province within the Empire. Ah, oh, psychological warfare. I love psychological warfare. Oh, we're done. We're done with that. Great. We still only have two spies. That's okay. And, you know what? I didn't do most of this. But I will take, like, one state. I'll take this ro rogers? Rovers? Oh, I still can't take that. Oh, my goodness. And they can have everything else. Cool. Uh, who's closest to here? Because he, I'll just give it to them. Only makes sense. And very soon, very soon, very soon. Cool. Which one is Vittenland? There you are. There you go. They'll probably do, like say, we demand a rightful territories. I'm like, no, that's my territory. I'm like, no, and then we clash. Ah, good times. Now, can I do across the entire front? No, it's just wow. Oh. This is a big old border we have. Yeah, we have to go to war with them next. I should probably produce a few more infantry divisions. Whee! Hell, Quill, you are quite an interesting place. You were doing so well, you almost rose from the dead. But not really. And go all the way up here, too. So we really need to produce a ton more guys right now. There you go. Probably that's, that should be enough. We got the manpower for it. So I want to use these guys as well over here. And coalition-wise, they're all the way up here. Holy cow. going to be a lot of guys. But just a company. Four. Five. You can wait. Signal companies, recon, artillery, armor. Let's get some better armor. Yeah, we're gonna kill up Watertown. Just in case, just keep doing that for now. You guys need upgrades. Any of you need upgrades? So far, no. They're looking pretty great. Do you guys need upgrades? These guys might. Oh, peace conference, changing lands. Oh boy. For now, I'm actually going to send you to the... Well, I can send them to the north. I could send them over here to take these guys out. But I want to take out this nation first. Oh, there's hills up here. I don't like hills. Yeah, we're going to stay down here then. That's fine. Um, you all just kind of stay down here. Something like that. For now. Good, good, good. Let time go on. Do a little bit of this. And we can demand the states as soon as we have a bigger army. Hmm. We will take on Republican Nova Grifonia. We might just do an entire world conquest just because, at this point, 
There's not really much that can stop us. We got the Kingdom of Olenia back. Queen Velvet, and then free changing highs under Peaceful Thorax. Huh. They really don't like us. We like them. Changeling Science. Cities. Cool. Very good. Very good. Mm. I could grab some mechanized, but that's okay. Plain stuffs. It's looking okay. We could probably do... Uh, I want more air XP first before we do that. Kind of forgot about this stuff, too. Oh. Not good. Ah. Yes. How about Obama? Good. Good. Oh, we have, we have scout planes, too, huh? Engineering. Grab some of this, too. Even though we don't need it at this point. Integrate the frontier of... Reclaim our colony. Hmm. Empire Strikes Back. I'll, I want a way to do that. Let's keep doing some more of this stuff. Project Metal Kasten. Some may call it a giant metal box to hide in, but it is far more than that. Its pace will be slow yet determined. Its armor nigh impenetrable. Its guns reveling artillery cannons in size and might. It shall be the iron fist of the Empire, and nothing will withstand its power. Good. Oh, tactical bomber. Cool. Do that for now. Do that for now. You don't need far less artillery. Uh, aluminum for that. Nuclear bombs? Those... Those sound like fun. Cool, let's go ahead and do this. That's good. Land auction, we're done. Uh, can we do this? We gotta wait. We're doing that. We're still using the light tanks. Does this help out, like, recon stuff? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we gotta wait for that. And we can do that, too. <clears throat> so far, we have six reactors. There are no... Crystals available, so no new nuclear bombs can be produced. If there are no crystals available, we cannot produce bombs. Oh, does that cost crystals? 349, that's not good. I don't want it to cost things. I want free bombs. Are you guys still suffering from attrition? Oh, that's really not good. Yeah, I'm going to move you guys out here then. There we go. Spread you guys out a little bit better. Panzer Division, it's time to get rid of these guys. There you go. Cool. Ah, yes. Good. Even better medium tanks. Let's get some modern tanks, perhaps. Great. Coast Guards. Ah, oh, beautiful. Cornelio. I don't want to use you because you're actually pretty good. Karja? Sure. And let's spend a little bit of time doing this. Oh my goodness, there's going to be so many places that we got to cover now. But I don't like naval invasions of of myself. Ah, there we go. Very good. Artillery. What about the stuff on the left? Ah, the empirical... The Imperial Economic Miracle. Despite our critics' worst intentions, we've made it. The Empire has not only recovered from its economic depression, but has soared high into the sky towards economic prosperity. Truly, we are restoring the Empire to its former glory in every possible way. So we get better production stuff for a year. Awesome. Oh, look. Divisions. Good. Good. You guys will be led by Cornelio. Actually. You guys. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing. Just go ahead and spread out that way. That makes much more sense. Uh, and come back here as we're waiting just a little bit longer to get more stuff. Good, good, good. Ultima Ratio. We've become the mod, the destroyer of worlds. Who has done that? Oh my goodness. I guess we're not the only ones with nukes. Which makes sense. <clears throat> cool. Cool. There's so many islands here. Well, I think it's not too many. Just enough, right? Just enough islands. Construction 5. Let's get some of cap and growth. Sure, why not? Oh, and a tank. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh. First industry. New Maryland. We might take them out later. Let's go get some more of that, too. Obviously, we're going to need a lot of Ghost Guards. We're going to need a ton of Ghost Guards. Which will be fine with me. Let time go on, my friends. Let it go on. Rata de Dam. Very good. Infantry. Oh, we have nukes. Great. Get some of that. 
Oh, 22 more divisions. I love it. Now, is this enough to hold off the entire enemy front? It might be. It really just might be. But it might not be. The Imperial Economic Miracle. Cool. And let's grab the new Kaiser Lysha Marine. With the Fezidian under our ports under our control, the time has arrived to formally restore the Krieg's Marine. However, the old guard from 978 cannot be just admirals of their offices. We require a serious and dedicated commitment to the reconstruction of our fleet. It'll be a costly affair, but it is the only way to show our rivals that the Empire is here to stay. Ooh, we lose stuff for a year. Oh my goodness. I'll receive a new navy. That's cool. Oh, ah, I see why. They did it like this. That's not good. That is very, very not good. If that's the case, you know what? We're just going to divide it up like this. Uh, we have a massive... Uh, how many armies are we fighting? You guys come down here. This is really poorly managed right now, I know, but whatever. Uh, you guys do that. Or, really, you could do something like that. And do that. You guys can come over there and do something like this. I do want to be a war them before we end this episode, though. And then you guys come over here and do something like that. Follow it up with you guys concentrating your forces down here. There you go. Much better. Much better. You guys are doing what? You guys over here. For some reason, you didn't have a battle plan. Whatever. You guys are not suffering any problems. You guys keep doing this. That'd be good. Awesome. We're going to need some tanks. So, for now, I'll probably just use the tanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right here. And cut these guys off. That's probably the best plan. I'm going to leave the knights out of this for now. Just, just because it's... A little hard to use them and the tanks at the same time because there's so many guys around here. If they want to, they can help hold the line, though. Oh, now that is some serious lag, my friend. Cool. Let's get on the line and we're going to demand territory. Now, I, actually, we're going to use you guys as kind of a backup line just in case any place that really needs help with infantry. So I think that would be a good idea. Lake City leads to a river federation. Oh. Okay. So that's what happened. A little bit of uh, restructuring, reorganizing, huh? Yeah, I need more ships. How many ships we got here? You guys stop training, go repair. New Kaiserlicia Marine. <clears throat> and I guess we do the same thing for this. So we're building the Imperial Air Force. The airplanes or was invented by the Schreiber brothers, an ingenious pair of Griffins who weren't so brilliant when it came to business decisions. It only took a decade before their invention was developed sufficiently enough to be used in warfare and has changed battles forever. We were pioneers of their usage, but that scoundrel Meyer has absconded with the entire fleet back in 978. It is time to assume our position as something, as the rightful rulers of the air. We'll call it like that. You guys, that's too many guys, but I don't really care. That looks pretty good. You guys go ahead and do all that. Good. And it is time for us to demand our territories. Frontier states. The perfidious eastern ponies have invaded the eastern frontier and now unlawfully occupy lands which are rightfully ours. We must demand their armies to vacate the, their territory, our territory, immediately or face severe consequences. We're ready to crush the pathetic river coalition if need be. Drill? Sure, well, we shall drill. Oh, we can recruit. Oh, Buffalo? Achillean? That's cool. I'm really not using my agents, though. Nice. Do we have enough air bases around here? That's actually a really good question to ask. Not up there, apparently. Not over here, either. We got stuff down south. Maybe a little bit up there, because I could help out later on, too. Uh, how about right here? You know what I'm, we're missing? Nuclear reactors. Four more. Oh, yeah. And you guys... I'm just going to put you guys, like, here. Uh, not you. You guys. Right there. Pretty good. Standard count back in Arcturus. Great. We can't get the next one yet, which is fine with me. That's going to take too long. Naval stuff. Super heavy battleships? Sure. Alright, so did they, did they give us our territory back yet, or no? Demand for t-shirts. They have a week. They have one week. And we've got, got construction six. Grab some more extraction. Yeah, that's a, that's a big deficit. Not going to lie, that's a big old deficit. 
Jezragrad. Wavebreaker, huh? You don't like us. So be it. Strategic destruction, battlefield support. I'll probably go with battlefield support. Tactical bombers. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for tactical bombers. Surgical precision. Strap bombers. Naval bomber ones. Heavy fighter ones. It really doesn't look like it matters too much. So we're gonna go with the increased infantry kit standards. Every soldier has traditionally been supplied with everything they need, but a modern soldier needs more than a soldier of the past did. Not only that, but we should ensure the quality meets the standards. Having a rifle break in the middle of combat, a tent leak in the rain, or a grenade trigger too early are all quite common or inconvenient to various degrees. Alright, what do you say? You give it up? I don't think they give us anything. Oh, they, or they will. Very good, very good. Oh, we can do that. So, Three days have passed since the, our envoy delivered an ultimatum to Waybreaker, demanding them to cede our rifle lands back to us or face our full military might. For a while, they were uncertain. There was uncertainty if they were going to accept this or not. But now we've received reliable reports that the federal forces have left the occupied territories, along with any administrative officials. Our own army can now move forth to assert our control of these lands. The locals will surely welcome as liberators who have freed them from pony rule. Awesome! Yes, that's so good. That's actually really good for us. Get out of our lands. Now that tells me. Oh, they're really stacking guys around here. Yeah, uh, but we already have pretty big stacks too. We got some big old stacks. Streamline line, good. Grab more extraction. You guys. If that's a case. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that. They gave us stuff, but now it's one united group. I did not realize that. Interesting. A very, very interesting. I'm gonna put you guys up north of tanks, though. That's a case. I'm gonna spearhead this way over there. And do we have a war goal against them? Kingdom of Help. Yeah, let's get our guys up there first, and then we shall go to war. Are these guys missing stuff? Do we? Do we <gasps> we're out of artillery. Oh my goodness. Um, leave enough of these guys for now, it's fine. Oh my goodness, I did not realize we were out of artillery. That is a big no-no. But unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today, my friends. But before we leave it, we're going to go ahead and go to war. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will take out the River Federation. Pretty much try to finish off this entire continent, and... Adventure Good Award, Nova Griponia, and the Northern Block. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.